Thank you guys. You're wonderful. Does anybody know any of these animals? Some deer, bear. Bears are in there, yeah. I know a few about, well, yak, something, or elk, kind of it. As the middle guy was moose, I guess. Right. And so, um, and some of these are, uh, of course, not in South Korea. So maybe you don't see the idea about them very much. But of course, some are about the same. Some animals are the same. There are swans that come to Korea, I think. So first, we get to start with the big idea. A mammal, bird, fish, amphibians, and reptiles. Uh, does anybody know what is a mammal? Is it a mammal <laughs> tend to can control their body temperature by themselves? Oh, that's often part of it. That's a good part of it, yes. Um, so, for example, people are mammals. And, uh, okay, so how about a bird? What the, defines a bird? What do birds have on their body? Well, got a pillow and wing. Mm -hmm. They have and wings. Some of them uh, fly mm -hmm. and fly. Yep. Not all birds fly, but birds also have feathers and they lay a hard shelled egg. Um, but there is a flying mammal. Who knows? It was made. <laughs> Anybody know a flying mammal? Bat. Bat is a flying mammal. Yep. So that's why sometimes we think, oh, a bird is an animal that flies, but not all birds fly and not only birds fly. Okay. A uh, fish. How do we define a fish? Oh, so where does it live? Um, in, in the water. Mm -hmm. Sea or lake. Fish live in water, and they live their entire life in water, right? Fish are born in the water, and they live their whole life in the water, and they have gills. You know the gills on their neck? Amphibian is that uh, lives both, both in water, and also they live in the land, and mm -hmm. they can they can live switch, switch live. Being placed. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's very, very good. They are hatched or they are born in the water. And at that point, they have gills. But then they transition to having lungs on land. And uh, reptiles. Did I've never had a reptile pet. Has anybody had a reptile pet? Lizard pet? Iguana pet? No? Yeah. Me neither. I don't, I don't want a reptile pet. I like mammal pets, personally. There's some eagle, but there's no bald eagle. Okay, that's what I, that's what I kind of thought, but um, I wasn't sure. Well, have oh. we have, in Korea, I have a few icons, kind of bit. But pretty clear about eagle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the is in in Korea. Okay, and actually, um, oh gosh, so I went to Alaska a couple years ago, and a bald eagle stole a fish off of our boat. So it flew like really close to us. It was very surprising. All right, let's go on to another. So, um, and so actually in Montana and in Yellowstone Park, you can see the bald eagle, but um, they're more common more north, like in Canada and Alaska, than they are in ne Yellowstone National Park. Right, it's a mammal, right? Now, does anybody know what a beaver does? Um, make some dam, mm -hmm. cut up a lake. Mm -hmm. Right. So... 
Oh. They, they are, uh, we call them a keystone species, which means they, they make the area different and they make it possible for other animals to live. Um, but yes, certainly they, but they're not really nice animals. <laughs> Does anybody know what they do with their tail? Mm, well, swimming. Yes, they use it for swimming. And some kind of warning thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you see the shape of the tail? I don't know if it's too small, but flat. It's yeah, it's very flat. So it's a very wide tail and flat. So it's more like if your hand is like very flat. So if you slap the water like this, sometime you will hear it makes a big noise. So that is what, if they are warning their family or they see some danger, they slap their tail and the beavers can all swim into their house. All right, now what is this one? What do you think it is? Bird? Mammal. Mammal. Uh, I think mammal. First one, right? first mammal. First one, mammal. So this one is called a bighorn sheep, right? Because, not surprisingly, it has big horns, right? Yeah. Big so, horn. has <laughs> anybody ever seen one of these animals? Uh, so, they're mostly in the Rocky Mountains, but they don't live in large groups. They live in very small groups. And these, uh, this is a detail, these horns can weigh up to 14 kilograms, this horn. So if you had only their horns to carry, it would be um, up to 40 kilograms. They're very heavy. Uh, when they are trying to pair up and during the mating season, the two men, the males, will hit each other like this. And it is so loud. I should have found the recording of it, but it is so loud. Um, I've only seen the video. If, uh, if you see this in person somehow, do not go near them because they are fighting. <laughs> should never interrupt a fighting animal. All right, what is this one? Bison, famous animal for Yellowstone. Mammal, bird, mm, fish, ma amphibian, one, reptile. One, one. It's, I think it's mammal. mammal. Right, mammal. it's a mammal. And these are the, um, uh, what's the word? The word is iconic. These are an iconic animal for Yellowstone National Park. If you said name one animal from Yellowstone National Park, many people will say the bison. And it's the, they have lived in Yellowstone National Park continuously. All the other parts of this, the Western USA, the bison have been killed or chased off and had to become, had to come back. But only in Yellowstone National Park, they stayed there the whole time. They can weigh almost 907 kilograms. They're huge and they just, Roam around eating all over. Mammal. Mammal. Mammal, yep. Black bears are more common than a grizzly bear. Um, their fur can be brown, blonde, they call it cinnamon or and color. And they climb trees. They don't dig as much, but these climb trees. They can open things with their hands. Their paws, I guess, is the word. So bears are very smart and very good smelling. They smell so perfectly that they will get all the food if you leave it nearby. All right, so what is this one? One um, mammal, two birds, three, four, five. Um, yeah, amphibian. Yeah. Amphibian. Yeah. Right, it's an amphibian, right? So this is a... Um, a frog you won't see, but a frog you will hear. 
they're small. And then they eat all the stuff that frogs eat. So I have a sound for them, if you guys want to hear what these ones sound like. All right, let's skip on to the next one so we can get through this. What is this guy? Fish. fish. He's a fish, right. This fish. is a cutthroat yeah. trout, and they are an, a nice big river fish, usually river fish. And they are, lots of other animals eat them. They're an important food source. And they have a red-orange mark under their jaw. So down here is like red orange, and uh, they they're fish, and they do fish things. They lay their eggs in spring and early summer, and they need good water to live, like all fish. All right, what about this one? Elk. Mammal. 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 Right, mammal. Oh. And this is another large species that people will try to hunt for a trophy or for the meat. Um, because they are hard to find and catch at the right time. And their babies have the white spots like deer babies have. They're related, pretty obviously. All right, how about this guy? Grizzly bear. Mammal. 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 Now, grizzly bears can run pretty fast. They can run up to 72 kilometers per hour, 45 miles per hour. So it is hard to outrun a grizzly bear. So the key is to not see them in a dangerous way. Um, there's a joke around here. Um, how do you tell the difference between a black bear and a grizzly bear? And the answer is, uh, if it, if you climb up a tree, a black bear will climb up to get you, and a grizzly bear will shake you out of it. It's not really a joke, but it's kind of a joke. If you see them walking, especially if they're smaller or female, they just look like a bear. It's hard to tell which kinds. All right, what is this one? Moose. Mammal. Mammal. mammal, one mammal. Yep. mammal. It's a mammal, oh, so another much. iconic species. There are many different kinds of moose, but they are the largest animal of the deer family. And when they put their faces in water, their nostrils, which are huge, close. Uh, so I don't have the picture. They don't have the picture of the moose um, antlers. But moose antlers are the ones that look like this. They're like flat. They have that flat area and then little lobes up it. All right, what is this guy? Pronghorn. Pronghorn. Okay. Mammal. And these are a... They're very fast. And they have uh, true horns like bison and bighorn sheep, which means they, they grow directly from the skull. And they're just a cute little mammal that you can see. They're distinctive color. So when you are driving by, if you go through the park somehow, then you can see them pretty easily, unlike telling the difference between types of deer. A pronghorn is easier to identify because of their white. All right, what is this guy? Mammal. Red fox. Mammal. Yeah. Foxes are, uh, you know the common ideas about foxes. They hunt at night, sleep during the day. They use their tails for balance, warmth, and communication. And they hear uh, rodents digging underground. All right, how about this guy? Lucky mountain or mammal. 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 Right. So the wolf. northern Rocky Mountain wolf, right? And they are mammal. They're highly social, which means they live in groups. And so they, however, um, many people, especially farmers and ranchers, are worried about their animals. So they will kill the wolves, right? 
because wolves are predators, they eat animals. So they live and travel in usually about 10 packs. Um, and they make lots of different noises to talk to each other. And then the, the whole pack will care for new babies, at least for a while. How about these guys? A leptoid. Right, reptiles. This one, these are two different kinds of snakes. The rattlesnake is a common snake that you have to be careful about. Um, I would say they're not super dangerous if you know how to be safe. They are venomous, which means when they bite you, the poison goes in. It's called venom. Poison, same idea. So they live all over the North America and they make a noise if they're threatened. So I have this one for you. You can hear. Like, how would you describe that? Like a maraca, yeah, that's good. That's kind of how it's made. It's hard to see this detail, but this is the rattle part on the end. And so their body makes this piece and then there's some little pieces inside. So it shakes exactly like a maraca. Right. It also kind of sounds like water sometimes. So like if you are hiking in the land and you hear that sound, stop and just back up. That's usually all it takes because usually you've just stepped one step too close to them and they're scared. So they're scared and they're going to scare you to go away. Um, but they are venomous, so if you do get bitten, you have to go to the hospital right away. Right? So this is a bull snake, and you can see it is climbing the tree, but it is not venomous. So if this kind of snake bites you, it will just hurt, but not be bad. But they live in the same areas, and they look similar, and same thing. If you get too close to it, the snake will be like, don't talk to me. You just back up. All right. Speed round. Now the fun part. All right. Name this animal. Anybody? What uh, is it? Bitcoin. Oh. Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Uh, uh. Right. The, the hint is in the eyes. It has the same eyes as a sheep it's a sheep Bitcoin good goat. job you guys had it you got it all right who is this guy how about this one uh, Bison. 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 yes you got the name all right how about this one this one's hard um, there's this piece it's a weird name it's a pronghorn oh, oh right. and that's a um or some people call them antelope, but it's a, anyways, that's a harder name to remember. You guys got the good ones. All right, here we go again. Uh, or the bald eagle. Bald oh. eagle, right? Yeah, right? Eagle. It's a kind of eagle, and because it has the white feathers, they say it's bald. How about this guy? Fish. Or fish. fish. It's yeah. a fish, yes? Yeah, fish. It's a, um, see the so, spots? So, it's a trout. Yeah, trout. Oh. And then uh, because there's a red spot here, they call it a cutthroat trout. How about this one? Beaver. 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 Yeah, Beaver. You guys are awesome. Who's this guy? Frog. 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 Frog, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot to review his name. He's a boreal chorus frog. It means it lives in the, near the trees. Wow. Boreal. It's a tree singing frog. <laughs> what those mean. Who's that guy? Grizzly bear. Grizzly, grizzly, grizzly bear. bear. Grizzly bear. Yep. Grizzly nice bear. one. Who's that guy? Black bear. Black bear. Black bear. Black bear. Black bear. How about this one? Uh, uh, bull snake. Bull snake. Bur A bull snake, snake right? Bull so snake. now is this one venomous or not venomous? Not venomous. Not venomous, right? <clears throat> Who's this guy? Uh, um, rattlesnake. Yeah. They are venomous. Rattlesnake. Yes, yeah. and they are venomous. Venomous. Um, yeah. People also call them rattlers, rattlers, just instead of rattlesnake, rattler. Um, so if people talking about there's a rattler over there, it means rattlesnake. Not everybody says the whole word commonly. 
and their colors look the same, right? It's kind of hard to tell. And who's that guy? Fox. Fox. Red Fox. Red Fox. Okay. Red, red Fox. Red yeah. Fox. Yep, our Red Fox. All right. Well, thank you, guys. <laughs> That's our class. Yeah. You guys are wonderful. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you, guys. You're wonderful. Yeah, 그 동물 소리 죄송해 주는데 그 맹봉이 같은 거랑 아그 맞은 거 근데 어 모두 고생했어 얘들아 예좀 네, 오세요 아 그래 잘 자라 예 네, 안녕히 좀 오세요.